of the first question that has been decided this time related to architecture is the Kunak Sun Temple of Odisha. The question is related to Kunak Sun Temple of Odisha is a classic illustration. Classic illustration of Kaling School of Temple Architecture. Explain. Clear? So first of all, the first thing that we have to do, we had been emphasizing, the first thing that we have to do is to understand the demand of the question. Understand the question itself. Clear? Purpose is not only to give you knowledge here. I keep on saying purpose is to equip you, to empower you. That suppose this question comes, how will you handle this question? Don't think that you don't know about anything about this question. Just have confidence how the question has to be attempted. First, unbox the question. Obviously, answer will come. Even if you don't know more facts and figures, then also how to attempt the questions. If you know it very well, if you don't know, don't get tensed. You have to draw an answer. Clear? So first thing is, the Konak Sun Temple of Odisha is a classic illustration of Kaling School of Temple Architecture. So this question, first of all, needs to be understood, is not on Konak Sun Temple and its features. No, this question is basically on Kaling School of Temple Architecture and how far the styles of Kaling School of Architecture is reflected in the Konak Sun Temple. So this question in itself is not on Konak Sun Temple. This question is on Kaling style of temple architecture and how far that style of Kaling style is reflected in the Konak Sun Temple. This is the theme of the question. So the major theme of the question is not on Sun Temple Konak. The major theme was the question on Kaling style of temple architecture. So first thing that we need to understand, what are the basic features of Kaling style of temple architecture? Then only we can say these styles are manifested in the Sun Temple at Konark in Odisha. First of all, major features of Kaling style. Clear? The first major feature of Kaling style of temple architecture is that in the Kaling style, the focus is more on construction of mandap you must be knowing just understand any temple in any part of the world be it any style of architecture the general plan outlay of the temple remains to be same what is the general plan outlay you must be knowing the general plan outlay is there is a central place in a temple where the main idol of the god is placed this place is known as garbhagriha also known as sanctum sanctorum Around this base, there is an elevated platform constructed. This is known as mandap. Mandap where major religious activities are performed. Above this only, large number of structures are constructed. In the northern part of India, there is a shikhar which is constructed. That is two Karvanine tower. This is technically known as shikhar. If you go to southern part of India, this is structure surmounted by story upon story in decreasing order. This is known as Pima. So most distinctive feature of Nagar style is Shikhar. Most distinctive feature of David style is Pima. Clear? And in the Vesar style, which is followed in the central part of India, there's a mix of Pima and Shikhar. All temples in Urisa also, Kalingi style also, all these temples are marked by Nagar style. Nagar style means it is basically Garbhagriya and at the same time the Mandap and then at the same time two Karvini towers known as Shikha. Clear? Three major temples in Odisha known as three jewels of Odisha. One is Sun Temple at Konak. Another is Jagannath Temple at Puri. Sun Temple is also at Puri only. Clear? And third is Lingaraj Temple at Bhuvneshwa. Clear? Three jewels of Odisha. Clear? And all the three temples are marked by Nagar style of temple architecture. Clear? So first is Nagar style, which is a dominant style in Kaling school of architecture, gets manifested in the Sun Temple at Konak. This is one thing. Another important thing to be understood is clear that in Kaling style of temple architecture, it's not only a simple mandap. The most important thing is they have made some changes in mandap only and that has given a definite character known as Kaling style. The change is Mandap has been made 
more large in Odisha. Clear? In Kalingi style, mandap is much more large than other parts of India. And this mandap, which is made much more large, this is technically known in Kalingi style with a term known as Jagmohan. So Jagmohan is a term typically used in Kalingi style of temple architecture marked by much larger mandap known as Jagmohan. And this Jagmohan is not only a mandap adjoining the mandap or adjoining the Jagmohan, there is a large assembly hall. This large assembly hall is marked by pillars. And beyond this pillar, there's a passage. This passage is technically known as aisle. So aisle is there in the Kaling style of temple architecture. And beside aisle, there's smaller inner rooms. Inner rooms for main for the priest to stay and also the major materials of temples to be kept. So major features of Kaling style is, first of all, Shikhar, Mandap, which is much more larger, known as Jagmohan. Then we have aisle at this time. This Shikhar in the Kaling style is very elongated and decorated. For this also, there's a separate term. This term is known as Rekha Deval, clear? Or simply as Deval. Rekha Deval or Deval. These are distincting terms. Why Rekha Deval? Why they have not used the term Shikhar? Because it's highly decorated and ornate in nature. So they term it as Rekha Deval, also termed as Deval. And beyond this also, also, there is always a pillar constructed on top. And this is known as Amalak. Amalak is the most important thing on the top of Rekha Deval. These are all distinctive features of Kaling style, clear? Now, based on this Kaling style, we will judge how far Sun Temple of Konak reflects this style of Kaling style. Some features are there. They have other distinctive features also. Now, we'll understand the major features of Sun Temple at Konak. So, if you know the features of Kaling style, these are general features. With these features, you have to judge Sun Temple of Konak. So, remember two or three features. Number one, this is first of all large mandap is there. This mandap is known as Jagmohan. Jagmohan is marked by pillar chambers known as aisle, large assembly hall. Then this shikhar is highly decorated, which is known as Rekha Deval, surmounted by a pinnacle, which is known as Amalak. Clear? Now, all these features are there in the Sun Temple at Kodak. First of all, this temple was constructed by the Ganga rulers of Kaling or Eastern Ganga rulers in the 13th century, 1230. Okay? So this temple was constructed by Eastern Gangas of Kaling region. This temple, why it is known as Sun Temple, the most important feature of any Sun Temple is this temple is always eastward facing. Why eastward facing? The reason is the first ray of the sun should fall on the main place of the temple. That is why it has to be termed as Sun Temple. So it is always eastward facing. At the same time, this temple also had Rekha Deva or the Shikhar, but right now it has been destroyed. There's a debate. It was destroyed by some human being or it was dam damaged because of natural factors. But right now, the whole Rekha Deval is not there in this temple, clear? It has been destroyed. But at the same time, Mandap is there, which is also large, that is known as Jagmohan, along with Isle is there, clear? Another distinctive features of Sun Temple at Konak is this temple is based on a large platform marked by large wheels, clear, in form, in form of chariots, clear. And these chariots or these wheels are in terms of sundials. Why sundials? Because these are used to cal calculate accurate timing also. So these wheels are largely in form of sundials, whereby the spokes enable us to know the real timing as well. These are some distinctive features apart from culling style of temple architecture at the same time clear this temple is very important because europeans call this temple as black pagoda clear black pagoda is a term used because from outer side it appears to be black just because gray stone has been used in constructing this temple clear so this temple has been constructed in gray stone gray stone gives black orientation to this temple at the same time Another major feature of this temple is, beside this temple, there's always an annual Mela, fair organized, which is known as 
the Chandra Bhaga Mela. This river is not far away from this temple. So Chandra Bhaga Mela is organized annually in this temple. Clear. At the same time, the most important feature of Sun Temple is that Sun Temple at Kunak focuses on erotic description. Eroticism is a major theme. And in this eroticism, they reflect or they demonstrate two major entities known as Kam and Mithun. Claim. Kam and Mithun basically indicate eroticism. And this has been indi this indicated in term the concept of tant or magical rites, clear? So concept of tant or magical rites are shown through Kam and Mithun with focus on eroticism. One distinctive thing, apart from this temple, there's another place where eroticism has been a major theme in Indian temple, and that is been at Khajuraho in central part of India. But apart from this, in this temple, Kam and Mithun has been shown, and the theme has been taken from Kam Sutra, Kam Sutra written by Watsayan in the third century AD. Clear? This is another major theme. In this temple, three gods are depicted. One is Goddess Durga has been depicted, and Goddess Durga has been depicted as Mahishashur Mardani. That is, they, she has been shown as assassinating or ending Mahishasur, the demon. Clear? So he, she has been shown as Mahishasur Mardani. Clear? The goddess Durga. At the same time, Lord Vishnu is depicted and Lord Shiv is depicted through Ling or Shivling. That is palace symbols. Clear? These are found in Sun Temple at Kunar. Clear? At the same time, this temple also indicates Images of fighting scenes, chariots, at the same time, along with fighting scenes and chariots, certain animals also, especially elephants are shown because elephants were found in abundant amount in eastern part of India. And some apsaras are also shown. That is, angels are also depicted. Clear? Right. Finally, since it is a sun temple, there is a large pillar constructed, which is known as Arun Stamb. Stamb is a term, Indian term for pillar. Why Arun? Arun is another name for sun. It's a sun temple. The pillar is known as Arun. So it is known as Arun Stamb. Arun Stamb is found as a distinctive feature in sun temple at Kunak. And finally, you will write, this site has also been included in the list of wild heritage sites released by UNESCO. So these distinctive features will come at the end. But first part of the answer will be, you have to explain Kaling School of Temple Architecture. These features. And then you will write how far these features gets reflected in the Sun Temple at Konak. And then after writing this, you will write some other distinctive features as well of Sun Temple at Konak known as Black Pagoda. Black Pagoda by Europeans because of the content used, the material used to construct this temples. Now again, purpose is not to discuss this information. Purpose is to basically develop the confidence here. Now confidence is clear. Once you write this thing, how far, how will you conclude? We, we, we were discussing introduction and conclusion also. Apart from this content, what would be the introduction of this question? As I told you, the focus is more on culling style. Clear? Not on Sun Temple Puna. The post of introduction, the theme is, and in the introduction, I told you, you highlight the context of the question. Make clear to the examiner you have understood the question. Clear? Culling style of temple architecture. Clear? There can be introduction, and the introduction is that Odisha evolved its own style of architecture in ancient India. Clear. Ancient India marked by several distinctive features to be rightly termed as regional school or culling style of architecture. It can be done. Clear. This can be the general introduction because focus is on culling style. Clear. If you are that second sentence, the Sun Temple at Konak largely followed the style of culling style, culling style of architecture, which is reflected even till present times. Then we'll write about the major features of culling style and this temple. This can be done. So you have to write that Urisa emerged to be a major center of temple, right? Urisa emerged to be Dev Bhumi, the term that we use. 
Odisha emerged to be Dev Bhumi, land of God, emerged to be Dev Bhumi. They were due to several temples marked by several temples marked by distinct style known as the Kaling style of architecture. Clear? Like next sentence, he also second that the Sun Temple at Pona exhibits major characteristics of the Kaling style. It's fine. You have justified the question in two sentences, not more than this. Introduction, two sentences. Now think about the conclusion. We can conclude with this, that Sun Temple at Konak is a prototype of Kaling style and can become the real manifestation if the Rekha Deval is completed through government initiative. Perfect. Suggestive measure also, because we all know that Rekha Deval is not there. See, things have started to come. Nothing can be better than this. Nothing can be better than this. Clear. It can be concluded in this fashion that Sun Temple at Konak is a prototype of the Kaling style and can become the real manifestation if the destroyed Rekha Devil is completed by the government or completed by the people and the government. That is a suggestive measure also. That shows highly optimistic side. Fine. See, I, let, I told you, things will come. There's no doubt about it. And it's a very optimistic thing. It's clear. Even if you don't forget about some technical terms, don't worry about it. I develop this skill to write. Things will come on. It is, it is the purpose of this session is to develop that. Clear? As I told you, the conclusion should be to take the examiner on higher level. That is why he should not have any inhibitions to reward marks. Fine.